Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with the Motorola Atrix 2. Uh, this phone's from a friend of mine, and I'm here to show you guys on how to root it. So, what first thing you want to know is what version of Android you're running on it. So to do that, we're just going to unlock it here. And I already did it, so we're going to press the menu button. Then we're going to go to settings scroll all the way down to about phone and we can see that the phone is running Android version 2.3.6 knowing this we're able to figure out which root method we should do the reason why I mentioned this is because uh, there's two different root methods if you're running 2.3.6 you have to do a different you have to root differently so from here we can go to our computers and load up XDA developers and I provided the link to this thread that has all the information you need to know. So, how to root your device? And we already have the 2.3.6, so we need to download this root zip file, which is already downloaded. Uh, but before we go anywhere, I've also provided the links to the Motorola drivers, and we should have the Motorola drivers before continuing. So, I provided the link to it, and I'm just going to download the Motorola drivers here and we're just gonna install them real quick and yes English next and of course we all agree to their terms and services okay so that's done um, I downloaded the 2.3.6 root file, so I'm just going to open it up there. And I'm just going to drag it right into my desktop. So, there we go. And then I could close this down. So now I'm just going to double click on this folder, and we're going to see uh, some files in here. Let me just enlarge this. And we have ADB, ADB Win, so we already have our ADB, so you don't have to install ADB or the Android SDK on your system. The next thing you're going to want to do is actually go back to our phones. And we're going to uh, set up ADB debugging. So we're going to unlock there press the menu button settings applications I'm going to go to development and we're going to put a checkbox on USB debugging and yes we allow it so you have that checkbox there so now we're going to press the home button there and we're good now we will plug in the USB cable to the phone as so and it says well, I don't know what it said but it's okay um, our computer now should be uh, installing all the proper drivers at the moment So we just gotta wait for that to happen. Tasking um uh, do I want to install the sync software? I'm just gonna exit out of that for now. And it loaded up the um, MTP interface, but we're just gonna exit out of that also and when you click on your uh, devices this should show ADB has been installed for some reason it doesn't want to load up on my system right now so I apologize for that let's try one more time nope okay so we're gonna go back to this 2.36 root folder and we're gonna click the click to root connect device to begin and we press the enter and it said modal fail 
root uh, Motorola Android root exploit and it said exploit complete done and it's rebooting the device so let's see what happens on the phone here so the phone is rebooting And we are on the Motorola sign here. Everything possible. Here we go. So I'm just going to unlock it real quick. Load up that. And oops. the phone restarted again. I didn't see super user that time around, so um not really sure why, but let's see what happens now. And we're again restarting the phone, so let's see what happens. All right, so I'm just going to let it load up a little bit before unlocking it but let's see so we're here let's load up our app list and see what's here and we have super user right there so we are officially rooted and that's how to quickly and easily root the Motorola HX2 running two, Android 2.3.6 thank you